Good morning to everyone. Bezat Hashem in Chai is going to be at 7.50. Please be on time. Today's learning is sponsored Le'ilui Nishmat Rafael Ben Berta, uh, sponsored by Albert Tachalov Ibadel Haim Tovim. Amen ve Amen. We have Rabbi Shimon Zuaritz from Eretz HaKodesh who is collecting funds. He's married and has a family with children to marry off. The business crashed and was shuttered and he owes $120,000 uh, employees and vendors. I'm asking for your help and mercy. May Hashem reward you with good life. The current situation Hashem, makes it all the more difficult. Anybody that's able to help should be blessed from above. Continuing in the Alachot of Muktzeh, we were discussing last week about a person who wants to move an item that is Muktzeh. He's allowed to tell a Goy to move it, even directly he's allowed to tell him, if it is a Kli, Shemelachto Leisur, and he doesn't need any special necessity. It's a basic necessity. He's allowed to tell the goy to do it. Today we're going to discuss a different halakha, a different question. Once an item of muktzeh is in someone's hand, for example, let's say the case we mentioned, a person has a hammer, it's sitting on the chair that he wants to sit on. So we said he's permitted to pick up the hammer and to move it. He doesn't have to move it to the closest place that he could find. He could take it and put it all the way back in its place, even though it's much further and he's holding on to the muktzeh for a longer duration, it is permitted. And the same thing is true even if he picked up something in violation to halakha. A lot of times people get scared, they pick up something muktzeh, someone tells them muktzeh, they go ahead and they throw it out of their hands. You don't have to do that. Once you're holding the item that's muktzeh, the halakha says you're allowed to move it to a place where other people won't go ahead and handle that muktzeh. You could take that item and put it on top of the shelf so that nobody else will handle that muktzeh and there's nothing wrong with that. The violation is on the original picking up, not once something is in your hand, it is mutar. And by the way, there is no distinction in this when it comes to krishim el isur versus davar shu muktzeh machmat gufo. Some Ashkenazi authorities make such a distinction Rav Vajja says, any form of muktzeh, once it's in your hand, you're allowed to move it to wherever it belongs or whatever you think makes the most sense, even if it will take a little bit longer for you to do that. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen ve'amen.